hi lovelies you're welcome back in this tutorial today i would like to teach you how to draft basic sleeve in a very simple way now let's get into it so i'm starting by measuring the length of my sleeve from my starting point here i'm measuring my long sleeve which at the end of the day you can use it to draft i mean you can use it to cut your short or three quarter sleeve but i'm going to show you how to do that so the length of my sleeve is 22 inches I'm going to connect it straight down just like this after measuring the full length of my sleeve i'm going to measure my armhole i mean my elbow length as well which is 12 inches 12 inches is, is a standard measurement you can use it for anybody so i'll just connect like this but if you see the person you are if the person you are making garment for is around she can measure it so from here now i'm going to measure out my cap height to get that i'm dividing my bust into 12 inches and i'm going to add half inch to it my bust is 36 inches divided by 12 will give me 3 inches plus half inch is going to give me 3.5 inches three and a half inches i'm going to measure it out from my starting point and connect it straight just like this so on my cap height line I'm going to measure out half of my round arm hole my round arm hole is 16 inches divided by 2 will give me 8 inches which is here half of my round arm hole on my cap height line this is my elbow line at the full length of my sleeve so I'm going to connect from here to here slantly just watch what I'm doing please after that, I'm going to find the middle of this line for me to draw out my armhole curve. So, half of this line now, to get it easily, you can just fold your tape measure like this and dot it out. So, here's the middle point of this line now. So, I'm going to measure half inch outward from that point. This is the half inch. So I'm connecting with the curved side of my ruler. Just watch me placing it like this and connect just like this. I'm using the other side to finish it up like this. Just like this, as you can see. Don't leave it sharp, please. Make sure you blend all the sharp head you have so for me to draw this is my back armhole now this is my back armhole curve to draw out my front armhole curve i'll just place my ruler like this as you can see that half inch is not going to be used for the front part what i'll just do is to place it like this hope you can see what i'm doing and draw it out like this so i'm using the other side placing it like this other way around and connect like this as you can see now this is the difference because of the bust that is on the front part to make your armpit free while putting on your dress or your top so i'll just blend it here is my front i mean here is my back armhole and this inward curve now will be my front armhole so I'm going to measure out half of my round elbow here. My round elbow is 12.5 inches. Half of it is going to give me 6.25, which is going to be here. And here, my round sleeve is 10 inches divided by 2, give me 5 inches. So I'm going to connect from here to here to this place now. Make sure this place is of a little bit because our, our, I mean, our hand is not straight like that. So I'm going to curve it a little bit. Just make sure it's curved a little bit. If you have your 
hip curve you can make use of it so as you can see now just make sure it's covered a little bit it's not that straight now i'm done with the sleeve i'm going to cut it out now i'm cutting the back armhole first Now this is my sleeve. I'm going to open it up for me to cut out my front armhole just like this. Now I'm done. This is my front armhole and this is my back armhole. Guys, if you want to use this long sleeve now to cut out short or three quarter sleeve, what you will just do is to measure the length you desire. The length you are using for the sleeve from this upper part now just measure it out and fold it in place it on the fabric cut it out make sure you had all the necessary allowances to it you are good to go if you want to measure out your short sleeve from here maybe like nine or ten inches fold it in and cut it out three quarter inch you can just measure maybe 15 to 16 inches you are good to go remember i did not have any seam allowance to it if I'm cutting on the fabric, I'm going to add all the necessary allowance. Please do not forget to add all. I mean, to, do not forget to add necessary seam allowances to your work, please, to make it accurate at the end of the day. Here's the end of this tutorial today. If you find my tutorial helpful, please like my video, share it to make it go viral. That is the least you can do for me, guys. Please, please, please help your girl out. See you in the next video. Bye.